At around 1:55 a.m. tonight, ISRO's Chandrayaan-2 mission will create history when it lands on the lunar surface. What makes this landing different from the others that have happened so far is that this will be the first time any nation has reached this close to the moon's south pole. Vikram Chandrayaan 2's lander that separated from the orbiter on Monday has already performed two maneuvers to lower its altitude for a perfect touchdown between 1:30 a.m. and 2:30 a.m. on Saturday. Touchdown will be preceded by some very precise maneuvers that Vikram will conduct. At roughly 1:38 a.m., rough braking will begin when Vikram is about 30 kilometers away from the lunar surface. Ten minutes later, the lander will begin fine braking at a distance of less than eight kilometers from the surface of the moon. Two minutes later, at 1:50 a.m., Vikram lander will begin local navigation in its bid to find the perfect spot for landing near the moon's south pole. It will also send its first image of the moon's surface to Earth another couple of minutes later at 1:52 a.m. And a minute after that, at 1:53 a.m., Vikram will make a soft landing on the moon, creating history and crossing a very important milestone in India's space sojourn. And the rover is inside the lander, so both are now orbiting around the moon. The orbiter will continue in its determined orbit. The lander is coming closer and closer to the moon as it is moving across the moon. So the thrusters have to do the reverse of what was done initially, because once it is caught by the gravity of the moon falling down, we don't want it to go and impact. So the thrusters are going to decelerate, 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 so that there is a soft landing on the moon, and the lander settles down. And before this, the in the orbit. there was a check also to see that what is the location it should land in exact location just to avoid any mishaps and then following that i think the opening of the door in the ramp and the rover to come out take its little little steps around in that region the lander also with all of its payloads to scan material around it and the rover with the two payloads on it uh, to do very detailed study of rocks minerals in that region It will be Vikram's decision on where exactly it wants to make the final landing by studying the lunar surface when it would be 100 meters above it. If everything goes well, it will touch down 78 seconds later. ISRO had chosen two landing sites, a primary landing site and a secondary one, each with two landing zones. The preferred landing site is between two craters, Manzinus and Sempelius, about 350 kilometers north of the South Pole. At a height of 100 meters from the lunar surface, Vikram will hover for a few seconds before the final descent. There are several considerations that have been taken in deciding the landing sites. The most important among them is that both sides should have the sun's elevation at more than 6 degrees on landing day to ensure enough illumination for the lunar craft to capture images. If it can land on the first zone within 65 seconds, Vikram will reach a height of 10 meters directly. However, if it chooses the second landing site, Vikram will use 40 seconds to first descend to a height of 60 meters, then drop to 10 meters in the next 25 seconds. Once Vikram reaches an altitude of 10 meters from the surface, it takes about 13 seconds for touchdown. Vikram's final descent from the lunar orbit would have started at an altitude of 35 kilometers. Pragyan rover will move out to roam the lunar surface. This will be between 5:30 a.m. and 6:30 a.m. Pragyan will carry out research including a thorough mapping of the moon's resources, looking for the presence of water and clicking high resolution images. Actually, Chandrayaan two is uh, though we call it as a Chandrayaan two spacecraft. Actually, it is uh, three spacecraft put into one. Okay, so uh, one is uh, the orbiter, which will keep going around the moon. Uh, initially, ISRO planned that it will go keep going around moon for one year, but now we think that uh, most likely it will keep going around the moon for two years because there are adequate uh, fuel. And the second is what is called as the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover combo. When it lands on moon. the belly will open and the rover will come and uh, crawl on the surface of moon vikram and pragyan's life span is 14 days after that there will be another 14 days of darkness on the area of the moon where they are and the temperature could dip to minus 170 degrees celsius 
Chandrayaan 2 orbiter's lifespan is estimated at one year, but it may keep working longer. As the world waits with bated breath to witness the historic spectacle, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will see the historic landing live from ISRO's control room along with some school children. Chandrayaan 2's success will make India only the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to pull off a soft landing on the moon. With inputs from Arunathakur, Bureau Report, Rajasabha TV.